morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, just know that we are saying hello. How are you guys doing today? I hope that you are doing well. So are we, and today we're getting ready. Baby girl is also in here with me. Say hi, Mikina. Say hi. <laughs> Before I became a mom, I was wondering how I was going to maneuver about doing certain things like getting ready, getting myself together in the mornings, um, taking a shower if my husband was at home or if he wasn't able to take care of McKenna for me, just different things. And so... I thought a perfect, this will be a perfect video to show how I get ready with McKenna. You guys know that I am a stay at home mom. My husband is in the military. So McKenna and I spend a lot of time together. Not only together, but we spend a lot of time at home. And a lot of times I don't have anyone to take McKenna while I get ready or, um, say I need to take a shower or anything like that so it can be difficult but it is possible so I'm gonna show you guys what I do so basically I always have her seat here in the bathroom with me a lot of times she's sitting here with me I try not to leave her in the room if I do she's just sitting on the bed playing um and i tried to build a little fort around her because now mckenna is sitting up on her own but she's also trying to get things like she's reaching for stuff she's touching stuff so a lot of times now that she is newly um learning how to sit up and play you got to kind of watch her a little bit more. Now, I could easily put her in her crib, but I'll show you guys. So if you watch my videos, you guys know this is how our room is set up. And her crib is literally all the way over here. So if she's in the crib and I'm in the bathroom. So if she's in the crib and I'm in the bathroom, it's hard for me to get to her quickly and a lot of times she wants me to be right there. I find what's easier for us, just let her be in the bathroom. So if you have a baby and you need kind of some assistance getting ready for the day, girl, put them in the bathroom with you. If you have a swing or some kind of seat, some kind of contraption to put them in, girl, put them in there. So here's what I do. The whole time she's chilling perfectly fine, right? Mommy brushes her teeth. All right, y'all, I have washed my face and brushed my teeth. McKenna is still. <laughs> chilling. She is literally just chilling. You have a really active baby. Um, I would suggest bringing some toys in the bathroom, you know, getting them something to do. My baby, for the most part, she'll just literally sit here and wait. She's to the point where, I mean, she's cool with just chilling with me. We do this every morning. So she'll just sit here and wait on me to be done. And then I get her out and that be that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this granny bonnet off. I know you guys are probably looking at it like, girl, ew. 
I'm gonna take this off and do something to my hair. Be prepared, it is a jump scare. It looks crazy, I know. This is what I put in my hair. I use this for my hair. It is just gel. I put it all over my hair and then that's it. Spray it down with some water. And for the most part, that is all I do right now. I'm a new mom. I try to keep it real simple. I don't have time for anything else. I'm just trying to hurry up and get out of the bathroom so I can get to doing the next thing. I know it's not good to use gel on your hair every day, but I do. And I only have a pinch of hair anyways, so it works out great for me. But with that, the gel that I used yesterday on my hair is still on there, so I don't have to continue to apply a lot of gel because it's still on my hair. Yeah, mama. Ain't that right? So I just finger through it like that. And y'all see those curls are starting to kind of pop through. Y'all see. And then I just reapply in places that I need to. Y'all, the dog on camera died. But that is the gist. This is the finished product with my hair. You guys see the curls? Zoom in on the curls. Now that the hair is done, some days I do makeup and some days I don't. Today will probably be a day that I don't. I just don't feel like it. I don't think we're doing anything today. And if we do, then I still might not. I just haven't been feeling like doing any makeup. But what I try to do is at least get out of my pajamas. Now, some days I don't, but I do try to get out of my pajamas. I wear a lot of house dresses, so I'm just going to throw on one of my little lounge dresses and that will be it. Okay, I threw on one of my little house dresses and I am feeling cute and rejuvenated but i just want to make this short video because i remember when i first brought mckenna home i was telling my mom i don't know how i'm gonna do this and i don't know how i'm gonna go to the store when it's just her and i and i don't know how I'm gonna, and i don't know how and i don't know how and my mama said no you'll figure out you'll find a way and you'll figure out and it is six months later and I have found a way and I have figured out and McKenna is literally like my riding buddy she is attached to my hip she is with me all the time 24 7 does it get tiring yes but that's life that's a part of being a mom and so I made the video because I know it's a lot of other young moms out here. Y'all excuse the lighting. Hold on. 
I'm in our bedroom and the lighting is terrible. But anyway, it is a lot of young new moms and unfortunately they are doing it alone. You guys have no one. And although I have my husband, my husband works a lot. He's in the military, we're home. Like I said, and it's just McKenna and I. But I just want to show that even though you're a mom and you might be doing alone, doing it alone, and it is a lot of work, but you still have to take pride in pulling yourself together. Don't stay in your pajamas all day. If you do decide to stay in your pajamas all day, that's your business, like Aunt Tab says. But, you know, it is something about getting dressed, doing your hair, maybe doing your makeup, at least putting some earrings on or putting some fresh pair of pajamas or a nice cozy set, loungewear set, something cute to boost yourself up because I know for me personally, as a stay-at-home mom, it gets tough and you forget you forget what you look like on a day-to-day -day basis. So sometimes I just have to remind myself, like, even though even if I don't put on any makeup, I'm still cute. You know, do your hair, get dressed, get out of the bed. You and that baby get out of your room don't stay in your room all day you see how dark my room is right now i can't stay in here all day i need to get out even if you have to get outside and walk around just get out it's important and get yourself together but that's my little ted talk i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and yeah. Peace. McKenna. McKenna. Look at mommy. Hi. Say bye bye. You gonna give him a smile? No.